Hello, good afternoon. It's May the 15th at just gone half one in the afternoon. Oh, and I've got a dent on the back of my phone, I've just noticed. Where's that come from? Anyway, <clears throat> it's another one of those funny ones. All week I've had no response from the council, Waltham Forest. Um, I've been locked in still, afraid of going out. I sneaked out the other night to post a blood test and urine test kit back to SHL. But even then, like, gone nine o'clock at night, there were crowds outside. What are people doing at that time of night? On an estate, I wonder. Anyway, um, mental health possibly minus two on my minus five to plus five scale, minus two. Of which I would say three quarters of that is caused by housing, and 25% is by my neighbours, and nothing by Covid. You, in my world, you get ill or you don't get ill. You survive or you don't. There's nothing to worry about with COVID. Unless you worry about dying, which, you know, I don't. My boys, one of which is here, there's one over there. And I don't know where the other one's gone, Caspi. <clears throat> I've kept me sane. I've cut them down to one meal a day for the last week now. They're sort of getting used to it. Mainly because when Mary visited me last Thursday, even she said they were putting on quite a bit of weight. So I've had to cut them down because I don't want Merlin to die anytime soon. Do I, Merlin? No, Daddy. <clears throat> so they are losing weight. You can, they're more energy. And, oh, Caspi's got more energy. He woke me up trying to catch a fly this morning. I thought he was knocking everything onto the floor in the bathroom, but no, nothing was moved. Um, the Wi-Fi, the Vodafone internet, has been fixed. I can confirm that after months of going through misery. It is now stable around 30 to 40 meg down. And somewhere between 15 and 25 up, which is more than enough. I used to get max 4 meg up with Virgin. And it's not the downloads that I need, it's the uploads, because YouTube videos and OneDrive takes a lot of data to sync. And now I've got the internet back properly, OneDrive's working normally. I need to put, I've discovered I do need to put a repeater back in the bedroom, but I've got the socket off the wall that I put in the kitchen, and I'm going to put that back in the bedroom and put my original repeater on. And that should be enough to cover the little black spot in the bedroom. I'll just use um, a low powered bit just to fill the bedroom. Because the rest of the flat is filled literally by the one router. But I think because of all the attenuation by the DVDs behind me, it's like little bits of silver, little bits of tin. It's just stopping the signal from getting through. If I got rid of that, I'd probably be all right. I got rid of DVDs and Blu-rays, I'd probably be all right. But they're attenuating the signal, and I've found it's the corners where I can pick the signal up best. So I'm going to put it back to where it was. And I should, in theory, be able to get about 25 meg down and 10 or 15 meg up, which is more than enough for the bedroom. It's just occasionally some of the bits in the bedroom loses signal. You know, the smart plugs and Alexa. She's just triggered. Um, so that does need improving and then it'll be done. And with any luck, the router still works. It's a new router. I only bought it last year. And that'll be the internet sorted. <clears throat> um, I've had two deliveries from the COVID-19 group this week. I've had me rubbish taken a couple of days ago, so I'm, that's gradually coming back. So next week I'll need to get the rubbish out. Oh, what else is happening? 
Waltham Forest are still not following their own rules regarding complaints. They're still, housing specifically, are still not following normal guidance regarding customer service and best practice. So I've got to waste even more of my time to get them to do what they're supposed to be doing. So it might come back down to trying to find a solicitor because they're not listening to me and I'm not the only one that's having the same issues or similar issues. So I'll be doing some research over the weekend and we'll see where we go next week. If I get decent feedback from the council next week, I won't try and find a solicitor. I'll give them another week. But if by the end of next week nothing happens, then I will. Um, what else has happened? Oh, thanks to the internet, I've now managed to upload all my backlog of videos. I'm up to number 38. I shot 39 yesterday. This is 40, I think it is. And I've started putting the end cards on and scheduling a release. So I'm releasing them now on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So Wednesday lunchtime, Saturday lunchtime. At the moment, I'm up to the end of May, and that's only with, I think 26 is the end of May. So hopefully over the weekend, I'll be doing these videos and finishing off uploading them so that I can just add to the list and I haven't got a backlog anymore. That's my aim for the weekend, to catch totally up, put the end cards on and schedule them. And maybe once I've caught up to date, I'll start editing the videos. Because at the moment, I'm just putting raw footage up. I reshoot where necessary, but it's all in one take. I prefer it like that anyway. I prefer a straight take, even if it's got errors in. I'd rather leave a few errors in rather than having jump cuts, which to me makes it look messy. So I've got that going on this weekend. Um, I'm watching some movies now. I've caught up with Jurassic Park, which stopped when the internet went. And I've finished the end of that. I've seen it before anyway. I just wanted to finish it. I've got the speaker, I think, fixed up there. Which was rattling, but I think... It was just something to do with the speaker being loose on the mount. I've taken a bit of masking tape and wrapped it around the screw that was holding it and put that on and I think the rattle stopped. Eurovision week. No contest. But they are having a celebration. So we've got... I've seen the two semi-finals as was. Basically, they're just presenting all the songs that was submitted for entry so they've done that apparently one of the newspapers worked out going by the downloads that spotify i think they based it on that the uk would have come in about 10th if those downloads converted straight into votes so we would have had a good season this year but alas not to be um Eurovision tomorrow, so that should be good. I might order a takeaway tomorrow. Eurovision, it's got to be pizza and ice cream. It's the white wine that gets me. Need to get some wine or beer. Wonder where I can get that from. Hmm. Anyway, should be a good night tomorrow. I will try and do more than two a week so i'll get a back library built up so this is my second one this week i think it's my second it could be my third my memory is not as good as it used to be so we will try to do more of these diary entries it will get better once i've got my proper tripod mount because then i can just leave the tripod set up and then put my phone in or leave my tripod out at the moment, I have to keep putting it back in the bag that I've got a camera bag and I put my camera and my accessories in there. So I'll do that. 
that should be coming end of this month, early next month. I think it's been walked here from China. Maybe because all the planes are down, so it's been walked across. Um, should be a good mount though, because it has multiple um, three quarter inch screw threads on it. So it can mount microphones and speakers and lights and all sorts of things on it. If you've got the attachments for it, it just screws straight in. So that should be good. And the mount itself isn't sprung, it's screwed in. Which I do prefer, because a spring breaks, a thread very seldom breaks. And when you're talking like a nice phone, I don't want it suddenly dropping. Which is why I've ordered the mount in the first place, so it's on a stable tripod. This is just a tripod from a oh, selfie stick, which isn't stable when you've got microphone leads and cat. And even the odd breeze can knock it over sometimes. Whereas a tripod is nice and stable and it's hard to knock over, especially with the cats. Um, so far, so good. I've just had a chat with Duncan. Just finished the chat about half an hour ago. Which was all right. We sorted the world out again. And he's chased up IAPT again. So, despite all the promises I got last week, not from Duncan, but from my GP and IAPT and all that sort of people, no one's got back to me this week. So, IAPT aren't getting back to me. The council aren't getting back to me. Karen's not getting back to me. It does make me wonder, why? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to have my coffee sit down and watch a movie and have a little mull. I'm going to try and relax this afternoon rather than go on edge. At least I got me screening kit in and out. Oh, the blood! My finger still hurts and that was two days ago. Um, it took half an hour for to me to feel a tiny little tube of blood. Oh my God. It was the most painful thing I've been through in a long time. Since I ironed my hand, it was almost to that level of pain. And it was only a pinprick. But it wasn't the pinprick that was painful. It was the half hour trying to squeeze blood. I had to use three fingers in the end. Three fingers just to get four, six hundred things. I don't know, units is it? It doesn't say what the dimensions are. It's between four and 600 you have to do, and they want 600. That extra 200 took 15 minutes. Oh, it started off all right, because I just put my thing on the vial, and it looked like it was filling up quite quickly. And then it suddenly stopped. I don't bleed very well. I'm hardly the most haemophiliac person on the planet, but even nurses have trouble getting blood out of me sometimes. So, anyway, that's all out of the way. I should get results back next week. That's when I break down and I find I've got sort of like a cleft palate or something it will bring up, I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like or not like. If you don't like it, tell me where I'm going wrong. I do read all my comments because there's not that many at the moment, but I do take feedback. If something's wrong with a video, tell me. I do watch them back, and to me they look fine. But, I don't know. It's up to you at the end of the day. This is for my historical record. But if it's helping with you, then do let me know. If it's not helping with you, do let me know. I've restricted all of them now to 18 and not suitable for children. Because it's not the sort of thing I want children to see. I don't want them to be put off by my odd ramblings and thinking mental health is nasty and makes you go like him. Mental health is mental health. It's like your physical health. We're all at different levels. Um, it's just a matter of tolerance, really, and, you know, a little compassion. Anyway, I'm going to stop it here because that... Then on the camera, on the back of the camera is 
rather distracting and I'd like to know what caused it. So I'm going to have a look at my camera now and I'll speak to you shortly. Thank you very much. Goodbye.